Few things identify Italy and Italians abroad as food. Food takes center stage in many popular representations of uh, Italian national culture, especially now that the marketing of Italian food has reached global dimensions. Dishes like spaghetti, pizza, and lasagna are commonplace in American restaurants and American kitchens. Products like Parmigiano, San Marzano came peeled tomatoes, and extra virgin olive oil are displayed in all supermarkets in the United States. Food is tied to a specific culture. This happens with Mexican, Chinese, and Japanese food, and this happens as well with Italian food. Food and its transformation express values and motives that are tied to a specific geographic area, historical events, popular tradition, economic system, and so on. With food and its recognizable taste and its verbal and iconic representations, consumers abroad perceive the specific Italian culture. What if the Italian food consumed abroad is not authentic? The message received by consumers does not correspond to the Italian reality. Not only it offers an adulterated taste for American palates, but it creates as well an inauthentic image of Italy and its culture. While Italian cuisine is one of the most famous in the world, it is also true that it's probably one of the most misunderstood. Its popularity is often used to sell Italian dishes, recipes and products that do not represent Italian legitimate ingredients or preparation. What I named Italian style food in the title of this slide is a simple label conceived to feed the American taste, to sell to the Americans under a fake exotic representation, nothing else than their creations, something with which they feel comfortable about. After all, the myth of Italian food is attractive because it has elements that seem to be far and exotic, but in fact, they are close and somehow familiar to the average American consumer. Most Italians assume that the average American would not appreciate a simple dish of spaghetti with fresh tomatoes or a plate of lettuce and tomatoes only dressed with a good uh, extra virgin olive oil, maybe with some balsamic vinegar or lemon. On the contrary, Italians know that Americans expecting an Italian meal would be disappointed not to find fettuccine alfredo, spaghetti meatballs, chicken parmigiana, Caesar salad with creamy Italian dressing. For this reason, a group of American tourists going to Italy expecting to enjoy the authentic fettuccine alfredo spaghetti meatballs at every restaurant on the peninsula remains very disappointed when they don't find these dishes listed on the menu. There is a multitude of recipes and dishes branded as typically Italian around the world and especially here in the United States, which are virtually unknown in Italy. Although these recipes and dishes may have their roots in the Italian traditions introduced into the United States by the Italian immigrants in the first half of the 20th century. They subsequently became a food with their special characteristics that made them very far apart from the original Italian cuisine, and indeed typical American products. Here are 
examples of the most famous Italian style dishes in America, spaghetti meatballs, Caesar salad, and fettuccine alfredo. Each of them is in some way linked to Italy, but none of them is Italian. They were born here in America, and here they got their names. Spaghetti and meatballs. Although it's known in America as an Italian recipe, it is incorrect to call this recipe Italian. This is actually a dish of Italian-American tradition. In fact, in Italy, pasta is prepared with misos, which is brown and not red, and not with meatballs. The meatballs are served when they are served separately after pasta, usually with vegetables. Do you remember the spaghetti and meatballs that lady and Trump romantically shared in the Italian restaurant in the famous cartoon in 1955? Caesar salad. This salad, named after the Italian immigrant creator Cesar Cardini, was invented in Tijuana, Mexico. The salad is completely unknown in Italy. Here is the true story of his daughter Rosa. One only the weekend in 1924, a big group of tourists arrived at Caesar's place. What to do for the hungry crowd at dinner? Caesar thought he'd have to close the restaurant for the holidays. Instead, he decided to invent a new salad from the ingredients he had on hand. He got out the eggs, the lemons, the parmigiano, the bread, and the big bottle of olive oil, to which he previously had added garlic. The salad became particularly popular with Hollywood movies people who visited Tijuana and it became a special dish at the Chisins and Romanov's restaurants in Los Angeles. The Fettuccine Alfredo. This is perhaps the most curious Italian-American dish. Fettuccine Alfredo is both the most famous Italian food in the United States and the least known dish in Italy. These noodles serve to the famous American movie stars Mary uh, Pickford and Douglas uh, Fairbanks during their honeymoon in 1920 in Italy at the Alfredo di Lelio restaurant in Rome were simply fettuccine with a large amount of butter and parmigiano reggiano. Overseas, however, this dish was incredibly enriched with other ingredients and became a popular symbol of the good life in Rome. Not only is the taste of fettuccine alfredo contrary to the Italian cuisine, but the number of calories, sodium, saturated fat are higher than any other traditional Italian dish. For this reason, legions of American tourists hoping to enjoy the fettuccine alfredo at every restaurant in Italy remain very disappointed when they can find this dish. So, in the case of spaghetti meatballs, we are in front of a product that is an Italian-American transformation of an Italian original dish. In the case of the Caesar salad, we are looking at, at a salad that has nothing to do with Italy except for the fact that it probably was invented by an Italian immigrant years after he arrived in America. Lastly, in the case of Fettuccine Alfredo, we have an Americanized meal based on a culinary experience had by Americans in Italy. Hollywood has a lot to do with the success of these dishes. Hollywood probably made them so famous and tasty.
If you don't find these dishes in the few authentic Italian restaurants in New York or other big cities, they are the specialties of many other Italian-style restaurants spread all around America. Olive Garden, Carabas, Italian Grill, Romano's, Macaroni Grill, Fazoli's, Uno, Chicago Grill and many others offer what they claim to be Italian food, but it is instead American food, just like hamburgers and fries. What they do is to feed American mouth and eyes with improvised Italian recipes based on old stereotypes that the average American has about Italy and Italians. In fact, communicative strategies are used to create the right menu, which then gives the consumers the impression that the food they eat is an authentic product of Italy, even if these companies, almost all of them, usually don't even have Italian or Italian-American people in their development, or management. A series of verbal and nonverbal communicative strategies are used to add Italian flavor to the products in order to offer the consumers the idea of a genuine Italian experience. Terms such as real and authentic are often repeated in commercial as well as the word family which recalls the typical image of an Italian family sitting together at the table. Menus, of course, have Italian words that don't have an English equivalent, like pasta, ravioli, mozzarella, and so on, but Italian is generally preferred instead of its English equivalent or combined with it. The same effect of Italianicity is obtained with words that are not Italian but sound Italian, like frappuccino, which combines frappe and cappuccino, or words such as fazzoli and submarino. Very effective non-verbal strategies are also used by the restaurant industry to associate their identity with Italy in the consumers' minds. The bright colors of the Italian flag can be found in logos, menus, commercial, and other promotional materials. The green, white, and red color combination tells consumers that they are entering into a new and exotic reality, the Italian world. The bright colors of the Italian flag can be found in logos, menus, commercials, and other promotional materials. The green, white, and red color combinations tells consumers that they are entering into a new and exotic reality, the Italian world. The green leaves of a salad or basils, the white garlic cloves of the white mozzarella, the red tomatoes not only remind consumers of an Italian flag, but also communicate the idea that the Italian food served in the particular restaurant is fresh. The same effect is also achieved with the rustic theme, since it is only in a rustic environment that one can get fresh and genuine products. And not only the menus and commercials, but also the architecture and design are inspired by the Italian rural character that suggests the actual location. This is typical, for example, of Olive Garden. Um, that is inspired by the farmhouse of Tuscany that offer the fake Tuscan cage stereotype under the Tuscan sun with bricks, walls and cypress trees in the parking lot of a suburban mall. Many restaurants 
try to reproduce the Italian style, especially, especially in their interior design. Columns, arcs everywhere, wood, clay like bricks, uh, beam ceilings with rectangular cotto tiles and painted pottery. Some elements like trees, trellis and mural paintings have been symbolically recreated inside to suggest an outdoor atmosphere. These solutions are consistent with the myth of Italy as a country full of little restaurants and open bars where the slow-paced dining experience, experience sharply contrasts with that get-in, get-out way of consuming a meal in fast food establishments in America. Everything is designed to make you feel you are in a truly Italian-inspired space characterized by a relaxed family atmosphere. The walls of the restaurants are often decorated with black and white photos representing a large family at the table, especially during special events. These pictures summarize several elements that are associated with the meat of the Italian food. The openness, the meal is consumed outside in the garden, the rusticity, the farm and the field are often in a background uh, of the table. The family, several generations are sitting around the table. The happiness, you see people laughing and singing. Love and romance, it, it could be a special event, a wedding. And eventually, the large amount of food and wine located on the center of the table.